I see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North! You stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh is the time of madness and disdain. Hey everybody, my name is Wellens and we are playing The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt today. Oh my god, we're finally here. We haven't even started yet and I'm already in hysterics. Okay, calm down, calm down. Yes, we're playing The Witcher 3 today, continuing off the story from The Witcher 2, where Geralt lost his memories but is slowly regaining it. And now he's trying to seek out Ciri, the child of destiny, alongside the sorceress Yennefer, his lover, I guess. Uh, as you can see here, I'm playing the Game of the Year edition with all the DLC installed. And I did read the comments on the very last Witcher 2 video, where everybody was trying to help me out with configuring everything before we started. So I already had a look in the options menus and hopefully everything is configured correctly. I turned off the fish eye thingy for the Witcher sense because I did see it and it was, it was a little bit headache inducing. I turned down the sharpening and I turned off all of the alternate outfits in the DLC packs or whatever. I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot of adjusting in the beginning still as we actually get into the game, but for now, hopefully we'll start out okay. I left all the key bindings on default for now just to see how it is, and as for mods, I only installed the quest objectives one. Some of you also brought up the option of simulating versus importing the Witcher 2 save, and about 90% of you said importing is better because it brings in a few pieces of incidental dialogue that you otherwise wouldn't be able to get. So we'll be importing the save today. And just as a reminder, I will be importing in my first Witcher 2 save today. So that's going to be my Roach Path. For all intents and purposes, even though we, the player, know about Yorveth and Saskia and all that, 
the in-game Geralt will only know about things that happened on the Kedwini side with Roach. Last but not least, I want to give a special thank you to those of you who have been watching my Witcher series from The Witcher 2 or even The Witcher 1, which was almost a year ago by now. And an even more special thank you to my Patreon patrons who indicated that they would like to see The Witcher series and without whom I probably would have been too scared to even start The Witcher 1. So thank you to all of you, no matter which group you fall under, and if it's your first time just watching me play The Witcher 3, you're not welcome- I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's begin! We are doing a fresh start. Four difficulties? Hmm... I feel like since this is gonna be such a long game, eventually we'll probably want to move on to Death March, but for now, I'm gonna go with Blood and Broken Bones, and then once I get used to the controls, we can think about moving it up. Yeah. Show tutorials on, please. Simulate Witcher 2 save. Uh, I will import my save. Okay, and I triple checked here. This is for sure the last autosave of my Roach's Path playthrough. Amidst Nilfgaard invading the north? Oh, is that Yennefer? Oh, I didn't even recognize her. Too late. Oh my god. Kara Morin. Ah. Uh. 
Oh oh. <laughs> you know I don't find that amusing. Whoa. <laughs> it wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. See you later. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jet black hair. With her signature obsidian star necklace. Welcome to the tutorial. Welcome to the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Oh my god, I can't believe we're finally here. This tutorial will introduce the game's core elements. Each message will be saved in the glossary, where you'll find detailed information about the world lore and gameplay mechanics. New quest, care more. Okay. I can jump! Oh, yeah. Yennefer Vengerberg. Oh my god. I can jump? Witcher senses? Hold. Yeah, this was the thing that originally had a fisheye effect, which was quite dizzying. So it's gone for now. Use your Witcher senses to find the key to the bedroom door. Okay. Oh, is that is that like not a normal door? Not a normal key? You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. This is a flashback? A dream? Because obviously in current day, we're trying to look for Yennefer. There's no way that she would just be chilling here with us. And Siri is apparently here too. Yes, I've rotated my camera. Does that pop up want to go away? See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. Not sure how I feel about Yennefer's voice. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I don't know what I imagined. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to be reasonable. Aha, uh -huh. so that's the way the wind blows. <laughs> Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. <laughs> What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. Ooh. <laughs> That's true, though. In the books, Geralt slept with a lot of people, but... Like, he would be sleeping with one woman. But also, like, shouting Yennefer's name, which is kind of, you know... <laughs> I'm pretty sure the women don't appreciate it. Extinguish! Oh, am I using my Ard to do that? Yeah, there's an art symbol here. Lilac and gooseberries, of course. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries. That's a Yennefer's trademark scent. Lilac and gooseberries. What else can I do here? Something beyond the... Hey, is that pop-up gonna go away about the camera? 
I'm already moving it. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm. Undergarments. Favorite colors. Which aren't actually colors. Something something black and white are shades. Nothing but silver. Gold clashes with my complexion. You should know that. You think I know anything about fashion? Yes. Use your witcher senses to find the key to the bedroom door. It might be that sparkling book over there, but I'm having a lot of fun just looking around anyway. <laughs> yeah, I can I can light candles and unlight them. Oh, when I extinguish a candle, I'm using art. When I ignite it, I'm using Igni. Cool. Shit. Mountain pass is beautiful as ever. Whoa. You can see the details really far away into the distance too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Should we get going? Not if I can help it. To unlock locked doors, walk up and press E. Thank you. <laughs> can I run? Maybe not for the moment? Oop! <laughs> Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone, it only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her? I've been saying it from the start, Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true, but you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Vesemir, we haven't seen him for so long. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. We haven't seen her in all of Witcher 1 and 2. And she's right here in the beginning of 3. Oh, she's blindfolded. You're not in this circus. Pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? 
Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any Striga. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Wow. Siri in the flesh. Haha, <laughs> rolling her eyes. She looks a little... She looks a little funny, doesn't she? It's like an adult face pasted on a kid's body. <laughs> oh. Don't be sorry. Be better. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on. We'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Okay. Of course. This a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Leads me to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. Join Siri in a run along the ramparts down to the lower courtyard. Okay. He's gonna go up here. Wow. Look at the trees all the way in the very back there. Even those trees are swaying. What the heck? Geralt? Oh. What is it? Come on. Sorry. Sorry, Siri. Got a little bit distracted by the beautiful scenery around Karamoran. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. Siri, cut it out. <laughs> Remember how Caramorn was the first location that we saw in The Witcher 1? Look at how big of a difference this is. Oh my god. Whoa. Careful. Falling from a great height can lead to injury or even death. <gasps> Fall damage. This isn't much of a run. We're just kind of like going down the ladders. <laughs> Are we trying to get to the obstacle course? Almost fell down the hole just now. Oh my god. Press space while running. Run into trouble. Should I turn back and help you? Shut up. Shut up, kid. Okay. What did you say? Space while running. Running is sprint. There we go. Don't bother me, Geralt. I'll trip and fall. First! <laughs> na, 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 na. <laughs> you were in front of me blocking me the whole time. What the heck? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna beat you then. You gonna be faster than me? Where'd you go? Oh, are we going down? Oh, dang it. <gasps> Whoa, wait! Wait! <gasps> Remember this place? Oh, no. vesemir has got that look. What did you expect? This is the very beginning of Witcher 1. <laughs> Lambert? Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera Tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if- But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. <laughs> what a- what a smart ass. Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. <laughs> Might have. But don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir, got it? That's playing with fire. 
Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with the dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Fundamentals, please. Yes. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Draw your sword, Geralt! Oh my god, four paragraphs. Okay, combat. Witchers must be prepared to fight foes of all kinds. Be they plate-clad knights, ethereal wraiths, or bone-crushing giants. To match the strengths and exploit the weaknesses of different enemies, Witchers need to use a variety of weapons and combat techniques. The core tools of their trade are their swords, one steel for fighting humans and non-humans. Humans and non-humans? Oh, you mean like dwarves and elves, okay. The other silver for slaying monsters. Witchers have also mastered a simple form of combat magic. These signs are not as powerful as the spells wielded by mages, but they can be cast very quickly with simple one-handed gestures, making them quite useful in the heat of combat. Witchers are also adept in basic alchemy. They can brew powerful potions, blade oils, and bombs, all of which give them a keen edge when fighting stronger or faster foes. Drawing my sword. One. Steel sword. Zed. When you have a target selected, all your attacks are directed towards it. Okay. Quick cuts. One, two, three. Fast attack. And one. Strong strike now. Give it all you got. Never lock your elbow when striking, young lady. Take that. Strong. What the blazes are you doing? Wait, left shift and pressing. Oh, this is a little different. Hmm. Position series. Footwork. Remember. Um, strong strike used to be on the right mouse key, but now they made it so that you have to press shift. Okay. Dodge. Uh. Indicate direction and press alt. Wait for Vesemir to attack. To roll out of the way of a blow, choose a direction and press space. Space or alt. What's the difference? A roll is further. Hmm. Pretend now, live late. Repost! Strike! Counter strike! Repost? Oh my god. Press just before your opponent strikes to perform a counter attack. Okay. Maybe a storm. <laughs> oh, so if I do it right before he strikes me, it's a counter attack. If I don't, it's a parry. Oh, young lady. To bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witches signs. Let's start with Quen. Activating the Quen sign. Select the Quen sign using Oh, it's like a wheel. All right. Uh it's, this is kind of like the Witcher 2, which I don't like. I wonder if you can just bind the sign to a specific key and use it that way instead of going through the um, the scroll wheel here. Not sure how much I like this. Siri Quen is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. It blocks. Yes, Quen protects you against damage and against certain critical effects. Do I have to cast it again? Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. Okay. See, if not for the Quen sign, I'd be aflame by now. Okay, Igni quick. deals fire and damage. Right, Geralt, come on! Art. See that, Siri? Art will knock anyone or anything off balance. Destroy their rhythm. Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. <laughs> I never use Axie. Oh my god. 
Okay. I'm too old. Yeah. Axie can really muddle your mind. Erden now. Show her, Geralt. Erden. Oh, hey. Walk close to him. Not bad. Siri. Like that? Or did I do it all? Yeah, he's already in the trap. Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Quen will dampen the blow. Okay. Bomb. Everything is in this menu. Oh. Hold. Oh, aiming a bomb. Where do you want me to highlight a training posts? Over here. Eh, didn't quite get it. Maybe right on it? The combat tutorial is now over. If you want, you can continue training with Vesemir. To stop training, simply sheath your sword by pressing C. Uh fine. Hmm. Enough. Continue training at will. I get the basics for now, but uh, I'm probably gonna need a little bit of time to familiarize with all of it. I'm too hey. This shit. hey, 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 man. What? Lost your nerve? Oh my god, he's killing me. Vesemir is killing me. Hold up. Hold up. I think somebody mentioned that rolling versus dodging is gonna be pretty vital here. This is dodging. This is rolling. Okay. Uh-huh. Where's my mana? Right below the medallion. Okay. Cool. And then bombs. No, bombs is this one. Do I have to go into this menu? I'm gonna be looking into that later on. Okay. Hard. Yeah. You like that? Okay. Whoa. Okay, I think I'm good for now. <laughs> Very good. Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she-devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Kaer Morhen. Find that helmet? Siri? Oh no. Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. Uh oh. What the? Getting a little bit of stuttering. Not sure if I need to adjust my graphic settings a little bit more. Tamaria, Road to Vizima. You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? Take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Yeah, let's confide in somebody. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me... 
Trace? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. It's done. We'll find her. Yeah, that was a hint because Triss, Triss has been in Karamorin, but Yennefer in our waking lives has never been to Karamorin. First hint that something was wrong. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. The wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Hmm. Well, Siri, Siri is like my kid, so I think there's a lot of anxiety when we don't know what's happened to her. That's a lot scarier than actually finding out what may have happened. It's the fear of the unknown. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri appeared in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow our trail, oh. so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh. How about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Will it be near Vizima? Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? It ah, oh, what? <laughs> Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain situations. <laughs> <laughs> the things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Monsters. Life on the continent and in the Skellige Isles is nasty, brutish, and short. War lays waste to the land, and those it spares live in fear of the countless monsters lurking outside every town and village. Monsters are shown with a silver health bar above their heads, indicating that you should fight them with your silver sword. Did you teach me how to do that? <laughs> I don't think so, because we were fighting Vesemir earlier, who is not a monster. Hmm. Wait, though. So we were gonna meet Yennefer, but then we didn't because a war happened to spontaneously break out at the place where we were gonna meet? Are you kidding me? <sighs> I guess that's par for the course for destiny and whatnot. Whatever. Not the other one. Ooh, there's one really far away. Oh! The horse kicked him! <laughs> How about that? Adrenaline points. Striking opponents generates adrenaline points. Certain abilities you can acquire allow you to perform special attacks that require and consume adrenaline points. Your adrenaline points slowly decline when you are not engaged in combat. That's the, the little red bar below my, my mana. Okay, 
cool. Kind of like the, the finishing blows that we had in Witcher 2, huh? Of course. When armies pass, necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Vitality generation. You can regenerate it by eating or drinking or meditating for at least an hour. Note, while playing on blood and broken bones, which I am, meditation does not regenerate vitality. Oh, okay. Food and drink can be placed in your consumable slots for quick use during combat. R or F to consume them and regenerate vitality. You have some food equipped in your upper consumable slots. R to eat it now. Okay, I have bread. Well, there's... <laughs> Do these pop-ups all eventually go away? Because I'm finding it kind of overwhelming that the HUD, there's so many elements here. I don't really like that. Okay. Bread. Eat a little bit of bread. Walk up to your horse and press E to mount it. Can we loot these guys first? Yeah. Space. Same as Witcher 2. And loot that. Oh. Ghoul's blood. Can't be a bad thing. Take all of it. Extinguish that. You don't want to start any forest fires now, do you? Bandits calling themselves Temeria soldiers are hiding in nearby woods. Beware. They have been declared outlaws and a threat to the Emperor's subjects. Emperor? Oh, Nilfgaard! Assisting or sheltering them in any way will be summarily punished to the fullest extent permitted by Imperial law. On behalf of the Emperor of Nilfgaard, Captain Peter Sar Gwynley. Well, that's... that's great. Mmm, <laughs> we're in Temeria, but I guess Nilfgaard's already deep in here. So deep that it's considered Nilfgaardian territory already? Kinda sucks. Take all the loot. Okay. I don't know why, but it keeps doing this thing where it moves my mouse so that it's like this. I don't... A lot of these little things to get used to. Maybe I'll figure it out sometime. Crystal Skull. Bird Skull in Black Crystal. Why do I think this is Yen's? Oh, we saw it in the cutscene earlier, right? The, the little bird, the little crow that she had, dropped it. Did I loot everybody already? I think so. Yeah? Wow. Can we see a map of this place? World map. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And we're here. In this little section here. Well, we don't really have anything marked right now because we haven't been anywhere. Okay, cool. Roach? <laughs> All of Geralt's horses are named Roach. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Geralt can always count on his horse, Roach, to help him on his travels. To have Roach come to you, press X. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. <laughs> Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. Are we going to Vizima then? Since we're near it? War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. <laughs> Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledge to restore the old borders, as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. Mmm, it's a fallout war right now already. How long has it been since The Witcher 2? It's gotta have been a while, right? Because we found Yennefer. We actually have a trace of Yennefer. Portinarius. Okay, who are these people? Oh, Temerian soldiers? Burying the bodies of hanged deserters. Oh, directive number A281X. Nine? Burying the bodies of hanged deserters and rebels is hereby strictly forbidden. Anyone caught trying to cut down hanging corpses will be summarily executed. 
General Merwin Rosen, Viceroy of the Province of Temeria. Deserters and rebels. Oh, so it is a Temerian soldier, but someone who was trying to escape from the place. There's another dead person here. Can I... Can I cut them down? <laughs> I guess not. Okay. A lot of things going on here. Yeah. Roach? Oh! Or should I try calling Roach to me? Um, it's really helpful to have the commands on the bottom right corner right now because I'm just starting. But can we eventually get them all to go away? It's a little cluttered looking. Ransacked village. Oh, should we stop again? Oh, well, there's even more. We took like one step. <laughs> yeah. No cutting down the corpses. Oh. can't talk to you. Must be somebody in their family. Hmm. So now I'm using the Witcher Sense. Meteorite Silver Ingot. Okay. Should I really be looting the village? The ransacked village? <laughs> What's going on over here? Am I getting distracted already? We can't do anything for them. Is there a monster here or what's going on? Oh, wolves. Whoa! Hold up. Ow. We gotta be a little bit careful because apparently my vitality doesn't regenerate even if I meditate. Dog tallow. I feel like, um, everything is really nice and smooth right now, but occasionally I'll get a little bit of stuttering. Gonna have to look into how I can get that to go away. Seems like it could be annoying over time. White wolf hide. Is this really okay? <laughs> I'm just looking through people's houses. Especially when this village has already been ransacked. <laughs> oh! What? Oh my god. Oh. Did I... Did I accidentally hit the girl? Because she just... She was right... Where did she come from? This came out of nowhere. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be doing this right now. I should probably just follow Vesemir and go. Lesser Glyph of Igni. Hold up. Inventory. Here are my currently equipped items. Okay. Oh my god, this is... This is so overwhelming to look at. Here are other items currently in your possession. Inventory tabs. Stats about my... Character, Vitality, Toxicity. Equipping items. Yeah. Inventory tabs, yes. Oh, quest items. Food items, items for roach. Oils, potions, bombs. Weapons and armor. You can toggle between large and small descriptions by pressing middle mouse button. Inventory preview. You can see how a given item will look on Geralt. Just press X. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes. To choose the order in which items will be shown, press F. Sorting. Oh my god. To see your character statistics, C. 
Okay, gonna ignore this for now. All I wanted to do was look at this. Can I use it or something? Place in an empty socket or on a piece of equipment to improve its traits. No? Okay, well, leave it alone for now. It's too much to look at, man. Let's just follow Vesemir. Is that girl okay? I don't think she appreciated me looting her house. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Yeah, you see? Little, little bits of, like, hitching here. Slower. Hey -ya. This whole village is gone now. Going. Help me! Help! Oh my God! Is that a griffin? Wow. Oh, no, has it gone? Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... You'd like a reward, I suppose. It's fine. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail? Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? It's trying to help us. Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Okay. I guess we're going to the White Orchard Inn. You're a merchant. Can I buy things from you? A new entry has been added to the bestiary. Okay. Greetings. Oh, your horse. Oh, you had someone with you on the card. Oh my god. That's... that's horrible. When on a road, left shift without steering to automatically follow its path. The horse won't lose stamina while using this option. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> In the forest or the mountains, sure, but here? And near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. 
Are we just gonna have Milfgardian soldiers hey, Eddie, blow randomly standing around here now? Step away. Okay. <laughs> so they don't all have that winged helmet, huh? I know we're supposed to get to the objective, but there's so many houses along the way. I just want to look around and stuff. <laughs> Hold up, okay? Hold up. Oh, these these foreigners speaking their own language. Okay, it's a North Guardian land here. Maybe there's not too much for me. Let's go then. Go to the tavern in the White Orchard. Populated areas. You're nearing a village. Don't disturb the peace. Remember, town guards and hired watchmen won't tolerate theft. <gasps> and won't look kindly on you accosting others. Local residents often erect notice boards near settlements, such as villages and cities. These are marked that thing on your map. Examine them to learn about contracts, war for witchers, and local happenings. They- I- Oh my god, I robbed somebody! I was stealing from the other village earlier! I stole before they could even tell me not to steal! Oh my goodness! <laughs> well... No use crying over spilt milk. Hey there. Those plums are wreaking havoc on my gut. My grand told me about the Smith's board. Lad went missing one day, so both lad and witch that was hunting nearby started poking Ours is a decent witch, but he started twisting and squirming. So what were you going to do to get me a sword so like that? Mm -hmm. Hey, some touching my horse? Witcher oh. had nothing to do with it. What did the folk do? Same like they could have sewed his head back on. <laughs> Word mm. is they laid his corpse to rest. Where's Vesemir? vesemir has got a wound, okay? We don't have time for this. Oh, Roach, can you get in there by yourself? Psst. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Mm. Nobody likes Nilfgaard. I'll not drink with Weaver Law's freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just pass through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Options marked that will open the shop panel. Okay. Oh, we got free food! Thank you. Ooh! There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And seems they hanged the lord. Wow. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Slowly, bit by bit, they're already telling you what kind of world this is. The black ones, Nilfgaard people. They are... they're basically the rulers now. 
Looking for a woman, raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. Believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Okay. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Show me what you got behind the counter. Buy and sell items using shop panel. Double click to buy. Escape to close. Um, this is a shopkeeper. This is me. I have some chicken legs that she just gave me. Thank you so much. I don't even think I have full health right now. What do you got? Gwent cards. Okay. Oh, already? <laughs> we don't know about Gwent yet. No, we'll leave that alone. Do I want to buy any of this? Maybe like bread because vitality regeneration? There must be better stuff though, not just bread. Hmm. Dumplings. Yeah, dumplings are better than bread. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, how much money do I have? 168. So we were saying that there's... Okay, when it says 9 bracket 90, like 9... 9 breads cost 90 crowns. Is that what you're saying? It's not orns anymore, right? It's crowns? I'm guessing that's what it means? Yeah, 5 dumplings cost 40. Huh. But why- why does the amount not correspond to the amount of items in the shop? Whatever. I think we're okay for now. We don't have to buy anything. We'll be fine. Thanks. For everything. Thank you. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Here. Okay. Black one's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. <sighs> Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are they marking out them lines, eh? Parcel out their patrimony. Give it to their own. Mm. Right now, I'm reading the season of storms, and there's a section where... Uh, who was it? I think it was between Temeria and... some other country? But basically, the soldiers were, like, lifting up the post lines that marked the borders, and they were moving them. Just so they could be like, hey, this is actually part of our territory, you should be paying our terms. The Nilfgaardians must be doing the same thing here. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Oh, they're actually not scared of me. Dialogue, Axie. Influence people's minds, causing them to act accordingly to your will. To charm more stubborn individuals who would otherwise resist during a conversation, invest in the delusion ability in the character panel. So you can try it out. Raven, woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? I don't know. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Boy, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Oh my uh, god. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. I was just gonna say though. Because previously, in 2, when we did a persuasion thing, we would just slowly do it under the table with our hands. But here, we had a gigantic Axie sign on this guy's face. That's so visible. People will... Okay, I gotta remember that for the future then. People might tell on me. Be gone! We'll not talk to you. I... Uh, oh, I've drunk enough. My head's spinning. Take the hooch. 
This wizardry. This is good. She was here. We're in the. We're heading in the right direction. Yes. What is it, Wolf? Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun. Yes. Though that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan. May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. How old am I exactly? How old is Vesemir? See you later, Vesemir. Oh my god, I'm like a hundred. It's old. Who's asleep amidst the tree? That's all asleep.